Anil Kumar sharing with you a question on domain. This is for my IB student Joseph. And I hope its solution will help many other students. We need to find domain of the function square root of 1 minus absolute x divided by 4 minus absolute x. You can always pause the video and answer the question. Here is my solution. Let's first define what is absolute x. Absolute x is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and it's negative x when x is less than 0. That clearly indicates that we have to solve this within two different domains, right? Now, I could also write this function f of x as equal to, I mean, both could be negative outside. So it is as good as writing absolute x minus 1 over absolute x minus 4, correct? It is same as what is given. Now, let us uh, divide this page into two parts and solve the question for two different intervals. One when x is greater than or equal to 0, the other one when x is less than 0, right? Now, if x is less than 0, then absolute x will be replaced by minus x. And when x is greater than or equal to 0, absolute x will be replaced by positive x, correct? So then what we get here is uh, this particular function. But see, when we're talking about domain, we also want that within the square root, everything is non-negative. That is to say, we want absolute value of x minus 1 over absolute value of x minus 4 should be greater than or even equal to 0. Right? Now, denominator cannot be 0. So that gives us one restriction, which is absolute x is not equal to 4. So that gives you that x is not equal to plus minus 4. So that is one part of our solution. Now we have to see the interval where the whole function is non-negative. It could be 0. It is valid at 1, for example, right? Okay. So, so basically, we are looking into this part. Now, when x is less than 0, absolute x will be written as negative x. So we'll replace it with negative x, negative 1, negative x for absolute x, correct? And the inequality, we want to show that this should be greater than or equal to 0. Here, when x is greater than 0, absolute x is positive x. So we get x minus 1 over x minus 4 greater than or equal to 0. Correct? Now, when is this greater than or equal to 0? We could take minus common. Let me rewrite this as x plus 1 over x plus 4 greater than or equal to 0. This is better. Now, there are two intervals which we have to look into when we solve this question. Let's do it here. We know that it is at minus 4 and minus 1, at minus 4, will have a vertical asymptote kind, right? So this is at minus 4. And then at minus 1, we could have a 0. So that will work for us. We have to analyze this within these three intervals. So let's take test points. On the left side, it will be minus 5. Here we could take minus 2. And we can take, uh, let's say, minus half here, 0.5. If I substitute minus 5 here, both become negative, And what we get here is that it is actually positive, right? So if I do minus 5, we get minus 4 over minus 1. So this is positive here. If I substitute minus 2, numerator is negative. However, denominator is positive. That gives me negative result. And for minus half, both are positive. So this inequality 
greater than works in these intervals which is x could be less than minus 4 or x could be greater than minus 1 right greater than equal to remember x is within this so since we have this condition here we should rewrite this as x is less than minus 4 that's perfect but x is greater than equal to minus 1 but less than 0 correct since that is the interval in which we are working so that becomes the solution from the left side now let's do the right side here we could have zeros or undefined at 4 0 at uh, 1 right undefined at 4 so I'm putting this not filled in circle so again taking test points we could take 0 in this case since it is greater than equal to right the interval was less than 0 there now in this case the value here could be taken as 2 this is 5 if I substitute 0 we get positive if I substitute 2 we get negative for 5 we get positive greater than means we are looking into these two solutions perfect so that means x is greater than so greater than or equal to 0 so that's the interval correct but less than equal to 1 or it could be greater than 4 or x is greater than 4 correct now the idea is to combine both these solutions combine both these solutions so we get the answer as x is less than minus 4 it could be within minus 1 and minus plus 1 so minus 1 to plus 1 or greater than 4 it cannot be 4 plus minus since that will make the denominator zero. correct so we get our solution which is in three parts written right there that's how you can actually solve this inequality I hope the steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my video that'll be great Thanks for watching and all the best.